Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna get ready and I, um, as I go along, I just want to show you some, you know, tips and tricks uh, when you guys are on camera and you're about to interview, uh, just to make your eyes pop, to make your skin flawless. Just wanted to show you how you know, you can present yourself during an interview uh, on camera because obviously the makeup on camera is very different than your makeup in person. Um, the lighter you go, the better it is. I like to go light, um, even on camera, because um, if you have too much, I mean, it, it's gonna look good, don't get me wrong, but you may turn your face when there's some light and you may see some creases and stuff, which you do not want. So you guys, let's get started. I've already primed my face. I have, um, you know, put a little bit of, um, Moisturizer. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead with e.l.f. Hydrating Face a Primer. Prep my face a little bit. We're gonna go here for mature skin, you guys. Always under the eyes, all right? Very important. All right, so you guys, we're gonna prep our face just a little bit, all right? So while this sets, there you go. I'm gonna take a, a beauty sponge. Um, I use number seven, beautifully matte. Okay, I love uh, a matte finish. I think for camera, it uh, looks really, really good, you guys. Um, I already have put my eyelashes about three days ago. I've slept with them, they're still there. They're called Lashify. If you guys have never heard of Lashify, they are wonderful. You can actually keep them up to 10 days. So if you guys like to, you know, you're like a mama like I am, uh, you're always busy, you're always running around and you don't have time to put mascara or even get some fake eyelashes on. Those are wonderful. You apply them, it takes five minutes. And um, once you do, they last literally, you can have them like up to 10 days now. So, but once you take care of them, they last forever, you guys, seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna show you how quickly you can get ready for an interview, you guys. Um, Bella. All right, so I like to go with my foundation on top of my lips. Okay, so it kind of primes your lips for whatever color you are about to put on there. All right, I'm gonna go here and do a little close up. There you go. All right. So the light I think is pretty good. You could actually see. Now that we've got our coverage and you kind of want to go over little piece, little areas here like sun damage or sunspot. This foundation is pretty good for that, you guys. Um, every time you put a double coat or a triple coat, it obviously increases the coverage. So you want to get a good, good coverage. All right. I like to do here around my nose because that's where I get mostly red. Now, last night I went to bed super, super late. I was working on a little project which kept me up like literally till the morning. Wow. So I'm a little tired. So you can see it in my face, obviously. Um, all right. I am done. Now I'm gonna prep my lips. I know it's kind of weird, but I like to moisturize it because the makeup kind of, uh, makeup dries your lips a lot. All right, so while this is kind of penetrating, I'm gonna move on to, I'm gonna use this, uh, what you call, that's so pretty eyeshadow is what it's called. Love it, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna take uh, the bigger side of the brush right here. Um, this is a simple brush. It actually came with Cargos Cosmetics, which is uh, Wonderlust. So um, I just take the brush from them. I'm gonna go ahead and pat it in. I love how it sparkles a little and it gives you kind of a nice glow on camera. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, you guys, like I am no makeup artist or professional, but um, oops, I think I got a little here. But I know for certain that it's all on how you present yourself, all right? And um, the confidence that it gives you when you put some makeup that complements you. Uh, now, for some reason, this color really pops my eyes, makes my eyes pop, I mean. Um, my eyes are pretty light, they're like kind of a greenish color. And so anything that's kind of like blue, green, uh, or a blue green color um and even a little bit of sparkle i love how it just gives me that pop of color on my face so i'm trying to do this quick because i want to show you guys it doesn't take long um so eyeshadow really important you guys that accentuate your eyes 
um there you go and it gives you a nice pop of color and so um so i'm gonna create a little bit of a wing here all right looks like that like so all right and i'm just gonna kind of smudge it just to blend it there you go so it doesn't look like that's the only thing that i have on there all right okay now that i'm done with that i'm gonna let that set for a little while now we're gonna go with a little bit of color. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Milani. I love their, um, I think this one is called Soleil Bake Bronzer 05, you guys. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of give myself a little bit of color. So you want to contour to begin with. So cheekbones, you right there out below the cheekbones, and you bring it all the way down because you want your coverage to be even. So I kind of like contour my face. Like that. Okay. Like that. So you want to go ahead and contour. Um, I like to squish the brush like this and just kind of go right here and contour. And there you go, you guys. Got a nice little bronzing face. Okay. All right. So once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my eyebrows. As you can see, there's a little bit of emptiness there so i kind of do i just will cover it right here very slightly just to make it even there you go not much and that's really it you guys i mean all right and cheeks cheeky cheeks all right so i'm going again i believe it's milani yep milani and minoso it's kind of like an orangey sparkly look at that it just looks like you've been sun kissed by the sun i love this color you guys a little bit on the forehead like this this the sun has been shining already you're seeing colors you're seeing contour you're seeing um you know some definition on the face and that's what you guys want especially for an interview all right now we're going to define the lips a little so we're going to go with uh lip pencil whirl is what it's called and it's by MAC, okay? And, oh, not too hard. I just go around like that. All right. Now people like to color the inside. I don't like to do that. My lips are already dark. And I, yeah, I'm doing it over the um, Lip a Sleeping Mask, which I kind of reviewed on my last video, La Neige. I love this. It's pretty expensive, but last, a long time it conditions your lips and my lips are always dry all right now we're gonna fill it up with burp bees i believe the color is called back oasis 401 love their coloring uh, it's very simple now if you guys want to go with the red color it's preferable they like red colors um you know especially when you're interviewing if you want to do that you could do that I personally, I think I've told you guys before many, many times, I don't like it. Uh, it just doesn't suit me. Red is too bright for my skin, and my skin is pretty white. All right, now that I'm done with the lipstick, look, it took me like literally two, three minutes, you guys. It's really, really quickly, quick. I mean, again, um, those are uh, fake eyelash, which I glued from the inside, and they've lasted literally. You just have to refresh them in the morning, put a little more glue in, kind of fuse them together and once that's done you're ready to go i uh, give myself a little bit of highlight i will go ahead with hello light cream eliminator all right and this is by it cosmetic i love their product it's so i mean i've had this forever it's kind of creamy all right and you just kind of want to accentuate the cheeks a little like so as you can see the little glow so as you're talking and you're interviewing it looks like you've had a fresh, fresh, you're like in your fresh face and you're, we're going to put a little bit of glow here, a little bit on the cupid's bow right there. All right. And we're going to put some more. Now I like to put it right above my, uh, right here, on my bone right there because that's where the sun reflects usually. All right. And I'll put a little bit on the inside. Gonna give it a little bit of that glow. There you go, beautiful. Now we're gonna go with the uh, instant age rewind uh, corrector, okay? Because I've got some big bags in the maz today. Like I said, I'm tired. 
haven't slept. I've just been in my work mode and I haven't slept good. I think I went to bed like at five in the morning, which is so good. Uh, all right, so let's cover that. See how it just kind of brightens the face already? Wow, look at that, you guys. I think I'm gonna put a little more. I love this color. This color is in uh, 100 Ivory. So it's a little lighter and I know I'm putting it on top of my makeup, but you know what, it's okay. It just cancels out the bags. Uh, it brightens around your face. Now I'm gonna go over with my, um, my big brush here and I'm gonna go over with the um, 50 Soleil, Soleil which means sun, and I'm gonna reapply a little bit just to give myself some color on top of that corrector. There you go, there you go, you guys. I love this glow that it gives me. It's like I've had a really nice tan, which I haven't. I love my Mally. Um, she specializes in mature skin. A lot of young, uh, you know, Ladies like to use it, but I think um, it really, really targets young skin, which I love. I mean, uh, mature skin. Uh, Evercolor Poreless a Face Defender, mattifying, minimizing uh, the pores. So you're gonna open it, it comes with a tiny sponge, and it's kind of like a waxy kind of a substance. It's hard to explain. I have my daughter thinking, hey, mommy doesn't use this, it's got a hold in it. So she emptied it, she scratched it off and played with it. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's like expensive. So I had to buy another one. Uh, and so, yeah, there you go. So as you put it on, it just basically closes all of your pores. Uh, and I love the finish, you guys. Um, Mali is awesome. I love that it, it's compact to me. So you can bring it uh, to your you know, with you everywhere and anywhere. Um, all right, so I think we're almost done. Now we're gonna contour our eyes with that brush. We're gonna go back with that little brush that comes from Wonderless. Um, okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the smaller end, all right? And I'm gonna go back with my eyeshadow and I'm gonna define my eyes using the same color, but I'm gonna go right under. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it right here. And I'm gonna go right under there, you guys. So any eyeshadow works. You don't want to go too dark, because then it looks like you're going for an evening out to party, and you don't want that. And you don't want something too shiny, because then it looks like you're just going to the disco. And remember, we want to keep it professional. All right, alrighty, like that. I think that looks pretty good. Right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I look promising. Look at that, that looks awesome. Because anytime I put some kind of color under my eyes, it just always bleeds or whatnot. So I like to keep it. I like to recreate the eyeshadow right under the eyes so it defines it. There you go. There you have it, you guys. So from far away, you can't tell that I've got a lot of makeup. It looks very natural and I gotta do my hair, obviously, but I'm just kind of showing you the face makeover. Um, now to look the part. You're gonna have to get dressed, you guys. Uh, make sure that you tie up your hair, so I'm gonna go do that, and make sure that you dress up and look the parts. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've cleaned up. Um, I've put my hair back. Um, so you always wanna see your face. I've kept it to the bare minimum, so I've put some matching uh, pearl earrings. You guys can get them really cheap on uh, Amazon if you'd like. I also um, added this beautiful one piece. I'm gonna back up so you can see. Um, now this kind of like complements my body and it actually covers the knee a little. Um, so you wanna make sure that it covers you. It's not too short, okay? It's zipped in the back, um, very flattering, very classy. And that's what you wanna do, you guys. You wanna keep it very, very classy. Now the light is shining through the front window here. I'm getting a good um, glow. Uh, again, they wanna be able to see you. Now, what I would recommend with the hair, it's because I don't have time right now, but to probably put a little bit of gel or hairspray just to keep all the flyaways, um, just keep the flyaways, you know, kind of down. Uh, now with that said, as you can see, I love the eyeshadow, how it just accentuates the eyes. It's not too much. Um, it's a little evening. Uh, you can go a little bit less if you'd like. I like it like that. Uh, like I said, I'm really pale, so it just kind of pops my eyes and your eyes are the reflection of your soul. 
um, so they want to hear you, okay? And you want to have makeup on, especially when you're flying. You want to look like you take care of yourself, that you don't look all washed out and tired and, you know, they want to see some color, you guys. Uh, maybe I could have done a little bit darker on my lips, but that's just my preference. I'm not a red lipstick type of girl. I'll wear it, but I just don't like it, and I don't like the way that it ages me, so I stay away from that. A little bit of the... Um, pink cheeks here um and i think we can use a little more uh here you go so i would add probably a little more peach on the cheek and there you go and that way it gives you some more glow and color um feel free to adjust and look at yourself in, on your phone you guys um or even on the computer just to see what you look like because sometimes what you put on you may need a little more on camera so like that and see the flyaways i would fix that for sure 100 percent. all right uh, make sure that you don't have too much on your neck this is actually integrated with the top that i'm wearing which i thought was really really cute um it's very classy um also if you guys want to add um let's say you're interviewing for a company that their color is predominantly blue um give you an example jet blue um delta has blue and red i believe um now invest in some scarves you guys uh scarves are always good um because you want to look the part right um and so you could always do that i mean it kind of doesn't look too good with the with the pearls but it kind of gives you an idea if you guys are wearing something else without the pearls um there you go i'm already looking the part right now just a little accent just a little scarf you guys and here you go um and then you're ready for your interview i mean and minimize everything that you have i would have taken this out probably i would kept one um read the rules and regulations on what the airline you're applying with you know if they're okay with like small earrings and like small jewelries and whatnot um try to respect their wishes before you even interview because if you're interviewing and you have big loop earrings and you're already not looking the part those are gonna kind of work against you so make sure when you're interviewing you guys you look the part you're confident your hair is away from your face because you want to show your face you guys you want to shine you want to smile they want to see you as opposed to having your hair uh, down also if you guys want to accentuate your look with a jacket um i will show you the difference of how it could look all right here you guys here you have it got the nice jacket i'm ready for my interview i look professional i look confident i speak loud i have a great background and uh, my hair is perfect not like it is right now like i said i don't have time i gotta run i got things i gotta do today but um you know look at me I look the part. I look like a flight attendant, you guys. I'm ready to work for your company. I, you know, I'm gonna bring to the table everything that you need me to bring to the table to shine and uh, to represent you, um, you know, and make sure that this is what I'm gonna be looking like. Uh, if I look like this during an interview, they know that they can trust me to look like this when it is time for them to hire me. So I hope this was helpful, you guys. Um, again, invest in these little scarves. They're not expensive and they speak volume um i love them personally you can stay without just like this is fine too um or you could just go with you know the color of the airline look at that you guys um and there's ways of putting them you could always read um because sometimes they come when you purchase them they come with different instructions on how you want them a lot of people sew them cut them sew them and make them so that they always look a certain way, which is genius to tell you the truth, as opposed to always trying to figure out how to put it and always get sent in. Um, so there's little tricks once you're on the line. But uh, for now, if you're gonna interview, just make sure that you look the part and be confident, you guys. So I hope this was helpful. I know it was a quick, quick tutorial, but just wanted to show you, you don't need much. Um, again, accentuate your eyes, your skin needs to be flawless, uh, cover those blemishes, get that dark, dark lipstick, 